What is going on guys? Welcome back to Practical Firearms. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of the new items that are going to be rolling into the channel. Welcome back. It's going to be a great year. 12-12-2015. Christmas is right around the corner. And as you can see, Santa brought me some really nice early Christmas presents. So what you see in front of you are three suppressors from two different manufacturers. You also see to the right my new and unreleased. You guys haven't seen this one yet. Uh, AAC SBR. This is a 9 inch AAC upper on a Santan tactical lower. Running a couple of nice goodies. I'll go over that soon. Making a return to the show is the FNP45. You guys know that one very well. I've got a couple reviews on it. I'm going to touch on to it a little more. And the reason why it's on the table is because it is a host to one of the suppressors. So let's look at or talk about the items that are right in front of you. To the right, I have a Spectre 2. This is a silencer co-offering. It is a 22 suppressor that can handle anything from 22 short to as high as 5.7 by 28. Stainless steel construction is a little bit heavier than the Warlock that they also offer, but it does have a multi-caliber purpose. Yeah. On the left of that is an AAC 762-SD. This is the 2014 version of the same suppressor they used to sell a couple years back. Uh, the new features on the suppressors are that now they have an all ink nail baffle system, making it durable for up to 20,000 rounds of service life. On the left hand side, it is the new hotness, the Osprey K45. It is the six inch Osprey made for People who are looking for a lower profile or a smaller silencer, of course it is going to be a great host to my FN45 Tactical. I'm going to try to go over in future videos some of the steps that, it, that you're required to take in order to purchase silencers. If you are watching in or tuning in for the first time and you don't know a whole lot about suppressors, I want to inform you that they are perfectly legal to own in most states, not all states, but most states allow you in one way or another to own a suppressor, whether it is through a trust, a corporation, or a private filing. I'm also going to try to touch up in some of the easiest, most convenient, and best way, in my opinion, to buy a suppressor nowadays. Basic things, the basic reasons why I went with these three suppressors. One uh, on the 22 was the versatility. I like the fact that I can use multiple calibers with the same suppressor. On the middle here, the AAC was effectiveness and price. This one comes in at around 500 bucks. And the last one was recently released when I bought it. It was released sometime around SHOT Show uh, 2015. More information on how all of this comes to be, on the pricing and all those items coming soon. So stand by, definitely get you, uh, your curiosity taken care of. For now, that's all I got, guys. I just wanted to make a quick video, let you know that I am back and running, uh, to stay tuned for future videos and future reviews of these items. Once again, the Spectre 2 the 762-SD and the Osprey K45 making a debut on Practical Firearms. I'm also thinking about starting a brand new Guns for Beginners series and I encourage every YouTuber, anybody with a camera via cell phone or actual camera to take your favorite gun, put it on the table and show America how to safely handle that firearm. There's a lot of new firearm owners out there nowadays and we want to do our part. I want to do my part to ensure that all those people have a resource to go to to learn how to effectively and safely use that firearm. Once again, Leo from Practical Firearms signing out. See ya!